critical of the deteriorating relationship between Israel under the Biden administration as violence between pro-Palestinian and pro-Israeli protesters continues here at home as well as abroad. Now, this comes as the Anti-Defamation League is reporting attacks on Jews surging 40 percent the week after the Israel-Gaza conflict began. Our next guest is calling out prominent Democrats in the so-called squad of progressives and Congress for fanning the flames of anti-Semitism. Joining us now to discuss the uh, national president of the Zionist Organization of America, Mort Klein. Mort, what do you think is going on? What's changing? Because I, I haven't seen anything like this in, in my lifetime here in the United States. First of all, these attacks, which are mostly by Arab Americans against Jews, makes it clear that their criticisms of Israel is not about criticizing a country's policies. It's about hatred of Jews. Otherwise, why are they attacking Jews in America, which has nothing to do with Israel? And this is being, uh, they are being emboldened, these anti-Semites, these uh, attackers, uh, by these members of Congress, Ilan Omar, Rashida Tlaib, Cory Bush, Jamal Bowman, Presley, and others, Bernie Sanders, when they are condemning Israel as an apartheid racist state, which, of course, Israel is not, that's only encouraging violence against Jews because they think you've got many members of Congress hating Israel, so we have a right to attack uh, Jews here in America. In addition, Biden's own policies are emboldening these people and emboldening Hamas and terrorists in the Middle East because Biden is now giving the Palestinian Authority $360 million dollars even though our laws say they can't get any money if they continue to pay Arabs to murder Jews and Americans, which they do. And yet uh, Biden is providing those funds. Uh, he's appointed a large number of hostile to Israel appointments. He's now moving a consulate, a, a mini embassy for Arabs in Jerusalem. This is emboldening and encouraging people. Yeah. And something people have to understand, this is war, an Arab war against Israel, is not about land. They were offered a state... Uh, from 1937 to 2008, they were offered a state virtually all the disputed territories. They said no every time. When I asked prime ministers, why aren't they accepting a state you're offering? They say because they don't accept the clause in the deal that says you must accept Israel as a Jewish state. This yeah. is about Israel's existence. It is not about land. It is not about a Palestinian state. Uh, this is hatred of Jews. And in this country now, we see 60 percent of all the attacks based on religion, are attacks against Jews. Only 13% are attacks against Muslims. You don't see Jews attacking Muslims and Jews attacking mosques. But you see uh, Arab Muslims attacking Jews, synagogues, Jewish schools. Uh, it is really frightening. President Biden must make a major speech against this and make it clear that America will not tolerate this. And he also must be condemning the members of Congress who are spewing forth anti-Semitic lies against the Jewish state of Israel. He hasn't done it. Yeah, and, and speaking of that, let's bring this up and get your uh, response to this. Uh, you mentioned specifically Congresswoman Rashida Tlaib earlier. Um, her comments about supporting Israel here on MSNBC. Listen. We need to stop. We need to stop and look at the fact that our own country is enabling it with billions of dollars every year being issued to Israel, even though they are promoting racism and dehumanization. More, you hear something like that, and then you see the violence breaking out on the streets here in America towards uh, Jewish people. What, what do you have to say? <laughs> what a despicable, phony statement. Uh, if Hamas did not launch rockets against Israel, there wouldn't be a single Israeli rocket launched against Hamas. Israel responded trying to stop Hamas from launching 4,300 missiles in an attempt to massacre thousands of Jews. So uh, Israel's not committing violence. They're trying to defend their citizens, both Arab and Israeli citizens. And racism, you have Arabs on the Supreme Court, 15 in, in the Knesset. It's over 10 percent of the Knesset. Arabs, 40 percent of the uh, people in Hadassah Hospital, the doctors and nurses are Arabs. This is a despicable lie by this woman. You notice she doesn't condemn Syria for killing a million uh, uh, Arabs. Uh, uh, she doesn't condemn China for uh, uh, interning in concentration camps, uh, one million Muslims. This is pure Jew hatred on the, on the, on the part of Rashida Tlaib. And we need Chuck Schumer and Pelosi and Biden condemn their fellow Democrats for these lying, 
statements against Israel, which only encourages and emboldens uh, uh, anti-Semitism and attacks on Jews. I'm waiting for them to speak out. They've been silent. It's been a deafening silence, and it's frightening. All right. Mort Klein, thank you so much for joining us. Hopefully they hear you and we'll speak out soon. Thank you.